Hey folks, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. Today I'm just about finished up with my week-long ski trip here in the Alps. Uh, we've been at the Trois Valley area, which is basically Courchevel, Maribel, Valtheren, and a couple of other ski areas. It's almost, uh, almost 190 uh, ski lifts in total. Now I've had some questions on what sports technology gear I've been using all week long. I'm going to talk about kind of four basic things. Uh, the first one is I've got the Air Dog here. Now the Air Dog is a sports action drone that goes ahead and it follows you as you go down. Now what's cool about this is this entire thing will fit in that backpack folded up. Um, so the arms just fold up, propellers pop off. It takes about maybe 90 seconds to get that ready to go. Um, and then you're pretty much ready to fly. Uh, it's pretty cool. It follows this remote control that's on my arm here. So both of these units have GPS and they communicate back and forth together. And then it goes ahead and it keeps me framed the entire time. Now there's a GoPro in the front of it, supports the GoPro Hero 3 and the Hero 4. I've got a GoPro Hero 4 Black in there. Uh, and the reason I'm using the Black is I want to be able to shoot 2.7K, but at a medium crop. Now this Hero 4 Black can shoot 4K, but only at a wide angle. Now the challenge with the wide angle lens um, on a drone is that you can get too much other stuff in there. And so in this case, it's all about me because it's the drone following me. So I want it to see me. Um, and if you're, you know, say 50 to 75 feet in the air and you got a wide angle lens, you're gonna look like a tiny little dot. So by using the 2.7K with a medium prop, I can get nice and close um, and still get that really high quality footage that I'm looking for. Speaking of the GoPros we've been using all week, um, all of us in the group here. So a lot of times I'll run with a Hero 4 Silver in my helmet. Um, or sometimes also a chest harness, uh, but I like the Hero 4 Silver a lot because it has a LCD screen in the back. So that means if I pop it out of this here and just want to simply handhold it as I'm going down or somewhere on the mountain, I can see what I'm doing, which is kind of cool. Um, whereas the Hero 4 Black, even though it has a higher resolution, you don't have that LCD screen in the back. So the next thing I've got, you know, I'm not really a big case person. That's not something that I, I like for iPhones. So I just don't use it that much. Um, but what I'm using here is the Beeline case. And what's cool about it is it's got this carabiner clip um, and it has this thing that just pulls it out like that. And I can go ahead and slide it back in like this. And if I drop it, no problems at all. Um, so especially useful on a lift. I know if you're like me, you kind of, you know, take your phone out and you're just holding on for dear life, even though there's no reason to. Um, you're afraid you're gonna drop it down off the ski lift. In this case, I don't have to worry about that. And I'm done, I can just take it and slide it right back in my pocket and I'm ready to go. The last thing we've been using, or I've been using anyways, is the Garmin Phoenix 3. Um, so now the Phoenix 3 along with the Phoenix 2 um, has had a ski and snowboard mode in it. And what that does is it automatically tracks my runs as I go down and then it pauses it as I take the chairlift back up again. So I only get the mileage for my actual ski run as opposed to the mileage on the chairlifts. Uh, so today at this point we've done uh, about 12,000 vertical feet, so not too shabby, and about 13 miles of skiing, actual skiing. Um, our record for the week is about 24,000 vertical feet and I think it was about 24 miles, so right about the same as well. Um, and it's nice, it just works, I don't have to think about it at all. And at the end of the day, I simply save it, upload it to Garmin Connect, and it'll show each one of my runs as a split, just like you would like a mile split. Um, same, kind of, same kind of concept. Plus, of course, they'll show me a map of where I've been. So that's it for the sports technology gear. I know a few of you will be asking what time, of, what type of ski gear I've been using. Uh, in this case, I just went with a pair of rental skis from the local ski shop in town. Uh, it's a pair of Alons. Um, I just didn't really feel like dragging my actual skis down on a train. It was sort of a pain in the butt. Uh, ski poles are definitely fairly generic. Uh, rental ski poles, I've already broken one of them. Um, thankfully, I paid the extra two bucks a day for insurance. And then beyond that, just uh, my normal ski clothes. I guess it's North Face and uh, call it North Face. So with that, go ahead and keep an eye on the channel and the links at the bottom of the videos here. I'm going to go ahead and show you our ski trip, kind of our montage video. It's pretty cool that my friend puts together. And then I'll also have a bunch of AirDog videos that you can see as well that I've shot over the course of the trip. Thanks for watching.